Hope you enjoyed video number one in the series of 10 for this case of 2023 Tops Update Blaster Edition. We went hunting for some parallels. We found five numbered cards in the first four boxes. We didn't hit any big boys. We hit a nice color match of Matt Mervis and some other Logan O'Hoppy cards. But we've got 36 more boxes to go. Yes, I know that sounds like a lot. was the last box we'll go through that stack and we'll see what comes out of each box we are looking for halloween parallels of good rookies adley rushman gunner henderson corbin carroll anthony volpe to name a few we're looking for rookie debuts and parallels for some of the good rookies Got a rainbow foil here of jake bird matt olson and Brandon Fat. Okay, nothing doing in pack numero uno. Ah, oh, come on. I feel, like, I feel like this is going to take forever. I know, I should probably pre-cut these sleeves, but I didn't. So, my fault. I'll try to be as quick as I can. Give you guys some commentary along the way. If you're watching in the car or wherever you might be watching, maybe you're cooking dinner. I don't know. It's where I watch some card content occasionally when I'm cooking dinner. I like to fill the time with some soothing card content. Somebody made a video the other day about how card content sucks. Can't say they're wrong. Maybe it's gotten a little stale, a little... Oh, we got a Patrick... We got a Patrick Bailey pumpkin card? That's nice. I hope it is. It's not bad. That'd be a nice hit there. What we got here? We got a black. This is black gold. Is that a parallel? No. Brett Beatty or Batty. I don't know how you pronounce his name. William Contreras. And this should be a Patrick Bailey. It is. There we go. We're on the board. We got a nice color match pumpkin, Patrick Bailey. Not numbered or anything, but that's a nice card. It's a nice. Uh, that's a nice color match. That, that, see, the Giants go well with Halloween. The Guardians go well with Halloween. Um, the Diamondbacks colors kind of go well with the Halloween. I don't think those are numbered. No. Question becomes, how many of those numbered cards are we going to get? In the first case, I got a bunch. From what I remember, I think I ended up with another one here. Is this a parallel? It's a gold of Gio Urshela. That's kind of rough. Pulled his camo a couple years ago. All right, so the first box, we got a Patrick Bailey. I'm pretty happy with that. A couple of rookie parallels. Who's this? Nick Ahmed, not Corbin Carroll. Bobby Grossman. As I was saying... In the first one, I got a decent number of numbered cards. Kodai Singa, Nick Ahmed. Box number one is almost in the books. And I think we did okay. That was probably our best box so far, given the fact that the Patrick Bailey came out in a parallel for the Halloween, not just the base. If I got a numbered card, a really low numbered card, I might consider grading it. But those are insanely tough grades. I haven't seen many of those graded. I don't know whether people have submitted those. I didn't. Honestly, I think a lot of them are going to get nines. Uh, it's just my s sneaky suspicion that a lot of them are going to get nines. And maybe even some eights. Because centering on them hasn't been like the greatest. And the black with all the colored borders just doesn't grade really well. Spencer Strider, that's a good one. Time-spanning tandems. It's a nice one there. Build a pile there. Jordan Walker and Brooks Rally. Okay, box number one. We did pretty good. I like that Strider. Chrome. Stars of MLB. He's a, he's a guy that just sells. He's kind of like 
got a cult following. Yeah, James Outman. I pulled in the first case, going back through some of the recap, I'd have to watch the recap. Go check that video out. It's from about the month of December. When I opened that case, I want to say that I pulled probably like five or six cards that were on that 25 to 20 to $25 range. Um, and then there was a lot of cards that were in the one to two dollar range. So I mean, if you get the same luck here and maybe you get lucky with a Corbin Carroll Halloween parallel, like in a really good one, or a Gunner or Adley, you'll do pretty well. I think you'd do okay on the case. Matt McLean, maybe. Like in that first one, 120 cards that I pulled, the best one, I think. Uh Azakar. I don't remember what the best one was, but it wasn't great. JJ Blade. See, there's another decent one. He's uh got some work to do. Peds knows this guy. I think he went to a wedding with him once. I've got his yellow logo fractor in a 10 that I graded. That's a really nice card. Not that one, the logo fractor. But you get my point. Okay, next pack up. Did we get a numbered card in this box? No, we did not. And the autos, they do sneak up on you. Patrick Bailey again, Kenley Jansen, Adrian Beltre, new Hall of Famer, Adrian Beltre. He was an underappreciated guy. I wouldn't mind doubling down on Patrick Bailey. <laughs> I don't know if we did, but I thought I saw a P in Giants colors. We'll find out. We'll... Tanner Bybee, there's another good one. Apparently, he's pretty good. Many people say they expect him to win the Cy Young. Ooh, Jesse, oh, it's out of 799. So we got a uh, Rod Dominguez. Then we got a Jesse Winker Purple. Jordan Alvarez, Action Stars, Corey Seager. And this is not a Patrick Bailey. It is a John Brebia. We share a name. That's about all we have in common. Okay, we got our numbered card in there. Maybe we'll get five numbered cards again. Get a lot of parallels if you count the rainbow foils, the blues, all these other parallels you get, the Halloweens, whatnot. Get a Josh Young rookie debut. That'd be decent. There's, there's some decent cards in here. Yandy Diaz. Nothing doing there. Did we make our... We got a Tovar in the back. I saw that. I snuck the snuck the view on the Tovar. Pretty sure. Joey Weimer. Gary Perez. Brenton Doyle. Rosario. Hey, oh, that's a decent one. There we go. There we go. We're on the board now. Got the Tanner Bybee rookie in an orange color match. Centering is ugh, not good. But hey... That's a hard card to pull. I think we did all right. I mean, that's one you measure, but I figure that's probably a nine. Again, sell that guy when he gets to the Cy Young or something like that. And there's Tovar, rookie debut on the Halloween. So this is a much better set of uh, four boxes than the first one. We're not even halfway through. Tovar got his Independence Day from this in a 10. Like I said, this set, the parallels graded really well, but that one's way off center, though. So I don't know what happened there. You don't really grade pitchers, but if that guy wins the Cy Young, I mean, it's a good pull. Kind of like Corbin Burns or, you know, back in the day, Kershaw, when he was early in his career. I mean, some of these guys could be the next Kershaw. You never know. Maybe have better luck in the playoffs, but... <laughs> All right, two boxes down. We got three, two num three numbered cards in two boxes. One numbered to two ninety nine. All right, next pack up. We got some goodies here. Drury Gonzalez. We got Perez on a rainbow foil. Freddie Freeman, Taj Bradley, and Dylan Dodd. I think I remember pulling him a bunch 
in the first case. You just don't want pitchers in the parallels. You want Patrick Bailey. You want Corbin Carroll in the pumpkins. If you're going to get a numbered one of those, you want one of the big boys. That makes the case right there. I mean, you get a Corbin Carroll in that or, or Gunner or Adley or Francisco Alvarez or something like that, you, you did pretty well. Matt McLean. That one will pay for a lot of boxes if that happens. All right, nothing doing there. I don't know, when did they make this? Or have they sat on this in their warehouse? What they could have done is Topps had a bunch of these left over and they just dispatched them all to uh, David Adams for like wholesale price. And they're like, take this, take this. We'll give you a great deal on it if you take it all. And uh, they'll be like, but by doing so, maybe we'll give you another product. I don't know, that's probably what happened. Goldie on the black gold. I didn't realize he was in the checklist for that. Uh, Jeremy Pena, and this is Joey Wendell. Not going to get it done. Okay, we got a rookie. Is that a pitcher? Yeah, it's a pitcher. On the blue for the Oakland Athletics. What's going to happen to them? They're going to go to Vegas. They're going to go to Salt Lake City. They're going to go to Portland. I don't know what's going to happen with them. I saw Vegas did a artist rendering of the new stadium over taking the place of the Tropicana. I mean, it looked pretty cool. Not bad. Volpe, Hobie Harris to 2023. Volpe, Corey Seager, and Strider. Okay, that is our... So I feel like that's our fourth gold already in six boxes. You get a ton of golds. I know golds are... They're high numbered. They're not hard to pull. The, va the value of those with the hobby places it just seems like it's always overinflated but i don't know why it just does feels to me like they're always inflated to nobody's business after this we got 32 boxes to go Brady, tommy la stella carlos radon carlos radon again zach mckinstry probably not going to get it done we'll see him up why not can we get another numbered card in this box? We've got one gold. So on the stage right now, we've gotten two golds, a purple, and an orange foil. The orange foil by far is the best. But so far, we've gotten two cards in this, this set of four that I would say are good cards. Not bad. Although QC on one is not good. All right, last pack of box number three. No matter how fast I go, it seems like all the chit-chat always takes me about 15 minutes to open four boxes. Maybe 17 minutes. I just talk a lot. Oof, look at that. Thank God those aren't parallels. Okay, all aces. Walker Bueller. Dansby Swanson, Scherzer, and Kenta Maeda. I already saw that. All right, last Last box mojo. See what happens. We need some luck. I really hope the QC isn't bad. I just wonder if they rushed the end of this print run and that's what I'm getting here. And this is like the very, very end of the print run. I, I, I could be wrong, but it just feels to me like that could have been the case. Diaz and Hunter Brown. I hope it's not the case. I hope, I hope there's variance here. I hope there's variety. I hope I get a lot of interesting pulls, maybe an auto or two. It's something. Oh, that's a black gold. What am I doing? It's not a, not a great parallel. These are faded a little bit. I don't know. Feels faded. Michael Harris got his blue in a 10. Hunter Brown, Trout in the... That's cool. Hadn't pulled that one before. Jordan Walker and I'm going to say it's not Jorge. No, George Soriano. There we go. Come on. All right. Get that one in there. 
I might go live with a couple of these. I know I'm going to pre-tape some of them, but I might go live with some of these. Have some commentary during the video. And some live audience participation. So you guys can enjoy the fun and comment along the way. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. This channel is a fun channel. It's been around for almost two years. We're getting up against our two-year anniversary. We're coming up April 16th, 2022. Still feels like we are so, so far away from a 1,000 subscribers, even though we worked our butt off. <laughs> Trevor Stevens? Steve, Trevor Steven. What am I doing? Why, why did I do that? Okay. We got a... Can we get a numbered card in here? Nope. Bryce Miller. Is he a good rookie? I'd say Bobby Miller's probably better. Ooh, Braves. Ah, Braden Shoemake. Shares a name with my son, but not the guy you're looking for. Luis Robert. Okay. That could have been better. I thought for a second it was Michael Harris. I was kind of getting excited. I was like, yes, Michael Harris. Rookie debut, purple. And then went, went, went. Not to be. Little light on the Halloween parallels so far, on the parallel parallels. Like the actual like pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, numbered stuff. We haven't got written really any. A couple pumpkins, but nothing crazy. Vasquez. Acuna. QC on this. Like I said, it's not the centering on this stuff isn't as good as it was. I don't know. I mean, there's no way that Tanner Bybee is going to get a 10. No way in hell. Not that you grade pitchers, but still. You'd like to be able to grade them when you can. And you can't even think about grading that. I don't think it's worth sending back to tops either. What is this? Veteran combos. Arias and Pablo Lopez on the rainbow foil. Time-spanning tandems. And we've got Bly Madras. Where the heck that is? Last pack mojo here of box number eight overall and four of this one. We'll do a recap. And then I'm going to go make dinner. Okay. Last pack mojo. Did we get anything good? Probably not. Let's see what we got here. Nothing crazy so far. This is a bust pack. Gunnar Henderson, Luis Arias, and that's going to do it. All right. That was a bust pack. Oh, well. We're $100 into this. Do I feel like we got $100 back? No, probably not. Do I feel like we got $50 bucks back by now? Probably. If you count the complete sets, we're, we're getting there. All right, let's do a recap. Let's see what we got in this particular one. We got a Tovar on the Halloween Parallel, Strider on the Chrome Stars of MLB, Fat on the Parallel. I should put that one last. What am I thinking? <laughs> I'll do it that way. Bobby Miller on the blue color match. Brandon, Sh Brandon Shoemake on the purple. Pretty nice card there. Hobie Harris on the gold rookie. Bly Madras on the rookie. J.J. Bladé on the rookie. Halloween. Patrick Bailey on the nice pumpkin card. Nice color match there. Corner's a little jacked up. Gio Urshela. Why did I put that in there? And then Tanner Bybee. So I'd say the, these two cards here are the best two from this set of four. The first set of four had a Matt Mervis blue. So we got some nice color match going on. But overall... We got a lot of work to do on this to see if we can break even. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for more content, and I'll see you in the next video.